you haven't guessed it by looking at what I've got before me, we are doing pickles. And everybody's asleep because they hate it when I do pickles. So I want to do it while they're asleep. Try and get the fumes and the smell out of here before everybody wakes up. Because then I'm going to have to hear about it. But I used to do pickles. I have a video, a much older video. I'm not sure how old, but it's pretty old. About doing my own pickles and that stuff worked pretty good. But here lately, I found something that I like even better, and that's uh, Mrs. Wages. Her dill kosher dills. Super easy. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Follow the instructions. That's how you do it. Uh, all you pretty much need is I got seven cups of water, and I'm gonna add for seven and a third cups of water. I leave the third out and I add a little extra vinegar uh, and three and a third cups of white distilled vinegar and then you get that warming up this is going to get a little bit loud because I have to have the vent on for this trust me I'll cut them into about jar size pieces, which is about half of these. I like spears, so we're going to do spears. Alright, so I almost got all my pickles done. I just got a few more things to add. I like to add a little bit of my own stuff in there. But you're just going to take this and make sure this is a non-reactive pan you're using. Stainless steel like that just because the vinegar and the water it can cause a reaction inside your pot if you don't. So, And this is just a powdery mix that you mix in. You stir it up until it dissolves. That's it. This is uh, some kind of pickle crisp granule, granules. I've never used this before. I don't know how much you put in. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit in there. It's supposed to keep them crisp. I like a crisp pickle. Soggy ones are kind of meh. Meh. There we go trying that out see how that works see if they make things crisper here in a couple months or whatever when we break into them and I got some already peeled garlic stick in there just about a clove maybe a couple small cloves in there Ooh, there's a big clove spice it up a little bit Got our mixture all hot. These over here. I don't know where my funnel is. So I hope I don't spill this stuff everywhere. This stuff is bright, bright yellow. I do this without my little funnel, but we might have to grab it. Pour this in there. Steady hand. Steady hand. Fill them up. Give them a little bit of headspace. Get you a butter knife and just kind of move things around in there. So that no gaps, no bubbles. Sometimes you stuff them in there too tight and there's little gaps. The next thing you know, you've got a big old a jar like this one over here. I'll show you. Yeah. 
I love doing pickled cauliflower. If you ain't pickling your cauliflower, you're missing out. I promise you that. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and crack this one back open. I did put hot liquid in these, so they did kind of seal. That one didn't. Sealed up. That one had some gas built up in it. Did you hear that? All that air. Alright. So, that one looks a little low. Alright. I remember the first time I did one of these canning videos, an older woman kind of got on to me for not doing this. We're not wiping the tops of the, you know, hey, got to watch this. Sometimes we don't get it all right. So there we go. That's for her. Every time now I do this, I think of you, whoever you are. I can't even remember. I have to go back and look. Snug those up. Now I don't have a pickler. I think I boiled a deer head in it or something. No, I did that with this one. No, I boiled traps in this one. I don't know. Anyway, I don't have a pickler anymore, so I just use my pressure cooker. Uh, of course, I don't put the cap on or nothing like that. But you're going to put these in a water bath 10-15 minutes. Long enough to get these things to seal and then you can put them up on your shelf. If you plan on eating them right away, I got a can jar of these right in the fridge. Hey, it's as simple as this. If you like this video, please subscribe, share, hit the notifications, and communicate. If y'all wanna see something, let me know. God bless y'all, I love you. I'll see you next time.